Good day, everybody, and welcome to my guided driving tour of the Hebrides. Located on the north shore of Prince Edward Island, conveniently between Summerside and Charlottetown, north of Highway Number 2, this beautiful community features cottages and a warm family feeling great place to make friends and it has a lot of really unique attributes that you're not going to find in any other cottage community in PEI. If you're not familiar with New London, which is where this is located, it's probably one of the most picturesque areas on the island and we are far from the main road, although the Entrance to the community is off a paved road that will be very well maintained. At one point, this peninsula was known as McEwen's Island, which is between New London Bay and the Southwest River. From the community, you're going to see all kinds of stuff, including a beautiful stretch of sand dunes to my right that stretches for miles and miles and miles. You've got all kinds of activity on the water, including mussel fishing boats. You'll see wildlife, including ospreys and bald eagles looking for fish. And of course, the bay and the dunes are a favorite spot for recreational boating, sea doing, parasailing, kayaking, and fishing. The subdivision is pretty mature, as you can see, and it was established in around 1974, according to the Hebrides website. We've got a causeway, which we're coming up to momentarily here. You're going to notice the um, clubhouse which is a rather large gathering hall. There's a games room, bar and kitchen facilities, par three golf course, mini putt, shuffleboard, horseshoe pit, and there's a common area for games. So when you buy a cottage in this community, you're actually buying into a lifestyle. And there is a membership to the community that's very cost effective that covers grass cutting as well as the common water system. And the membership organizes activities that are open to all members and guests. Some of these cottages are being rented out. And I do believe there may be a small fee if you have guests using the clubhouse and so forth. But it really doesn't add up to much. Right in front of us there is the, uh, the clubhouse, the golf and everything else. Slightly to my left now. The clubhouse is available for family reunions, weddings, and any other small to large gatherings. And the Hebrides is administered by a elected board of directors. So that is the Hebrides in a nutshell. Where I am now is we are coming up to the sort of the top of the hill on the island portion of the Hebrides where you have some absolutely credible views of the sand dunes, which would make me absolutely have to have a kayak or a little sailboat to get over there and enjoy them. In front of me in the distance is a lighthouse. I see fishing boats coming in. 
This is just an awesome spot, and I found in the past that anything we do have for sale, and I've sold a number of cottages and lots in here, typically sell fairly quickly. So it's a great place if you do decide to buy that you know down the road it's not going to take you 20 years to sell your your lot or your cottage if it's uh, marketed properly and exposed to an international market, which the real estate agent should be doing. Subdivision was originally a project of some people in Summerside. And I actually know of some that are... Uh, we're, we're actually clearing rocks off of the, uh, the farmer's field back in the 70s when they were kids. You'll notice it, it's pretty... The road has been kept uh, in a condition where you're not gonna... It's not gonna be a super highway. They're trying to keep the average speed to a minimum. We're just looping back here to where we started, which will be the causeway. Even all this years, there's still vacant lots. A lot of people buy these lots and they intend to to build cottages and life just catches up with them and they they just never get out here to build, unfortunately. But all in all, you know, based on what I see and, and you can see in this video, everything's kept in very good shape. The odd tree that's fallen over from Fiona. But you see that all over the island still after two years. That's our clubhouse to the left. We're going to go back to the causeway. And then the final leg of this journey will be Sky Lane. Which you'll be able to see in the distance to my right, that sky with an E on the end. To the left, I can see more fishing boats. I can see some buoys there. So we're just going to go up here further. Turn right and Sky Lane will terminate on a court. It's a beautiful day in PEI. It's the end of May. It's a balmy 14 degrees Celsius. We had a prediction for 60% chance of rain, but I haven't seen that so far. As they say, if you want the weather to change in PEI, just wait an hour. And most times it will. Now many of these cottages are built on posts. Some of them have foundations. I'm sure you'll probably find a few that have uh, foundation blocks as foundations. And I have a cottage coming up that is listed that actually has an ICF foundation, which would be my choice of materials to build a foundation with, but it's fairly rare because it's expensive or more expensive than poured concrete posts, foundation blocks, I don't think you're going to find too many houses or cottages here with slabs. This subdivision is open in the spring, it's closed in the fall, and they do gate the community. And it's very well watched over. I haven't heard of a single problem with any criminal activity, including break-ins and stuff, which is more prevalent in some parts of the island. So all in all, it's a great place, and I'm sure if you intend to buy or you've already bought in here, you'll find that the people are absolutely awesome, and it has more of a sense of community than any other location I know on the island. So coming up to this course concludes the video. I appreciate you watching and listening. If you like this sort of stuff, be sure to subscribe to the channel give the video a thumbs up and if you have any questions about PEI real estate or Prince Edward Island in general 
Be sure to put them in the comments below and have yourself a super duper day. Bye for now.